This is finally happening. We now have solid, confirmed evidence on the chipset for the smallest, most affordable flagship, the Galaxy S26 Pro, in Samsung's upcoming lineup. For months, the rumors have flown, but now it's official. The S26 Pro will feature the Exynos 2600. This is a huge deal. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to break down exactly what this means for you, what regions are getting this chip, and the impressive features it's packing under the hood. So let's get into the details of the Galaxy S26 series. As you probably know, Samsung is expected to launch this next lineup of non-foldable flagships in February 2026. We're looking at three devices, the Galaxy S26 Pro, the Galaxy S26 Edge, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Now, the leaks have long suggested a regional chip split was coming, with most markets getting the Exynos 2600, while some others would get a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Well, thanks to evidence found by Sam Mobile, we can now confirm that the base model, the Galaxy S26 Pro, is indeed going to be powered by that Exynos 2600. This Exynos chip is expected to be the standard for most regions worldwide. But if you're in the US or China, hold up. Your S26 Pro will likely be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 SoC, which was actually announced just last month. It's also worth noting that the Galaxy S26 Plus, which Samsung reportedly started developing very recently, is likely to follow this exact same chip distribution as the S26 Pro. Now, what makes the Exynos 2600 so interesting? Let's look at the leaked features. It's built on Samsung Foundry's cutting-edge 2 nanometer fabrication process. For the CPU, it's packing a 10-core configuration featuring ARM C1 series CPU cores. And for graphics, you're looking at the Eclipse 950 GPU, which utilizes AMD's RDNA architecture. Performance-wise, the leaks claim this new Exynos chip performs faster than the Snapdragon 8 Elite and even Apple's i19 Pro series in the iPhone 17 series. That's a bold claim. Of course, we still need to see how it stacks up against the top-tier Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and the MediaTek Dimensity 9500, but here's an important timeline detail. Samsung reportedly started the mass production of the Exynos 2600 way back in September. The bottom line here is that the Exynos is back for the most accessible flagship, the Galaxy S26 Pro, in most global markets. We've got confirmed tech details and a clearer picture of Samsung's regional strategy for February 2026. This is a crucial step for Samsung's in-house silicon. If you're hyped for the S26 series, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if you prefer to get the Exynos chip or the Snapdragon. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive into the Galaxy S26 series leaks. Thanks for watching. Peace out.